If you're building a micro SaaS, one of the first questions that comes up is, where should I host my backend? After all, that's where your business logic, application rules, database, and everything that makes your system work actually lives. Today, I'm going to share with you five different platforms you can use to host your backend, breaking down the pros and cons of each one so you can choose the option that makes the most sense for your stage right now. By the way, I'll leave all the links with special discounts in the description, so make sure to check them out. The first one is DigitalOcean. It's one of the most well-known options for cloud servers with a great cost-benefit ratio. The big advantage is that you get full control over your environment, it scales well, and it's relatively affordable. The downside, though, is exactly that level of control. You need to configure most things yourself, like databases, security, and deployments. So if you're just starting out and don't have much technical experience, it can be a bit challenging. The second option is Railway. This platform is perfect if you want simplicity and speed. With just a few clicks, you can get your app live, and they even offer a free plan that's great for validating ideas and running MVPS. The advantage is how easy it is with a very low learning curve. The disadvantage is that if your project grows a lot, costs can increase quickly and you'll face some limitations in customization. The third one is Render. It's similar to Railway, but offers more robust features for production projects. With Render, you can set up automatic deployments from GitHub, get built-in support for databases, cron jobs, and web services. The big advantage here is convenience combined with professional features. The downside is that it can become more expensive as you scale, and sometimes performance may be more limited compared to more customizable servers like DigitalOcean. The fourth option is Heroku, which used to be the go-to platform for developers who wanted a simple hosting solution. The positive side is that it's still very easy to use and integrate, especially if you want to avoid technical headaches. The downside is that the free plan no longer exists, and today, the cost-benefit isn't as good as it used to be. So while it's still great for simplicity, it's not the most competitive option in terms of pricing. And the fifth option is Versal or Netlify. These are usually known for hosting front ends, but they also offer serverless functions. That means you can run your backend in small functions, quickly and at scale. The advantage is perfect integration with modern frameworks like React and Next.js, and you don't have to worry about managing servers. The downside is that this model works better for lightweight and simple backends. If you need a heavy backend or long-running processes, it may not be the best fit. At the end of the day, the right choice depends on where you are in your journey. If you're validating an idea, Railway or Render can be the best options for simplicity. If you're looking for something more professional and scalable, DigitalOcean or Heroku are stronger choices. And if your backend is lightweight and tightly connected to your front end, then Versal or Netlify might be perfect. The important thing is to understand that there's no single right answer, only the platform that makes the most sense for your micro SaaS right now.